Oh God, I'm so glad to finally be home from work. I just want to sit back and relax. Hey, Boydy, are you ready to cuddle up and watch movies? I made you popcorn and I cooked it extra long because I know you like it crunchy. Karen, it's popcorn. It's always crunchy. You just burned it. This piece isn't burnt. Oh good, I'll just eat that piece. What movie do you even want to watch? Home Alone. Oh, Karen, we've watched Home Alone five times this week. I hope that little boy will be okay. Well, there's a sequel, so I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. He's just home alone in that big house. It's so scary. You, you do know it's a comedy, right? <laughs> what? Oh, God, my brother's calling me. Oh, God, I don't want to talk to him. Just... Hello? Look at that guy. Mom's in the hospital. No, Jonathan, I'm not falling for another prank. It's not a prank. This is real life. Please come. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, hurry. I love you. Uh -huh. Apparently, my mother's in the hospital. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Let me scroll. Look at this beep. Hello? You didn't say I love you back. I know. Bye. Boydy, your mother's in the hospital? Yeah, I guess. You gotta go check on her! Okay, I just, I don't know what's worse, sitting here and eating burned popcorn with you or visiting my mother in the hospital. It's okay, Muddle. Everything's gonna be okay. Do you want me to go get you a beer? Shut the hell up, Jonathan, and stop petting me like a cat. Yes, ma'am. What's going on here? Muddle's dying! Oh, look who decided to show up. My good-for-nothing son, Brookie. You know, I could leave. Nurse, what's going on here? Your mother's kidney is failing. What, really? Again? Didn't you already have a kidney transplant? She sure did. I gave her one of mine. Look, I even have the scar to prove it. I tell the ladies it's a shock bite. I can show me. Your mother needs a kidney transplant or she's going to die. Well, I don't know anybody else who'd be willing to give her a kidney. You could give me one of yours. I, I'm using them right now. Selfish. Yeah, don't even love your own mother. I'd give you my last kidney, mother. Well, then you would die, Jonathan. I would die for mother. See, that's a real son right there. Loves his own mother. Doctor, are you sure you don't know anyone that could give her a kidney? Uh, oh, man, I guess... I guess I could ask Dad. Oh, no! I don't want nothing from him except for the back child support for the past 32 years. Ooh, Buchanan guy, why don't you go and ask him? He lives all the way in New York City, and I don't have his number. I'd have to find him. Buchanan guy, listen. After everything Mother has ever done for you, you can't even go and ask Father for his kidney? Well, then why don't you go, Jonathan? I'm scared of flies, and Father hates me. He hates everybody. Except for 19-year-olds fresh out of high school. Yeah, ask him about that, cheating bastard. It's true. I saw the text messages. Okay, okay, fine. I guess I'll try to find Dad. Yay! Mother, you're saved! No, 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 no I, I wouldn't say that. I'm not promising anything. Mother, you're saved. Hey, Karen. How's your mother? Dying. Hey, listen, I gotta go to New York for a few days. Oh, my God! Karen, it's not a vacation. I have to go there to look for my dad. Boyney, I never met your father. Yeah, there's a reason for that. He's kind of a horn dog. Boyney, can I please go? We can go to the top of the Empire State Building. We can see the Statue of Liberty. We can go on Broadway. Uh, Karen, I think maybe you should just stay home and watch Home Alone a few more times. Oh, Boyney, please. I want to go to New York. Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, fine. Come on. Yay. God, I'm so glad to finally be at the hotel. That was a long flight. Boy, boy, boy! Look, it's a view of the whole city! And look down there, it's Times Square! Boyny, can we please do all the basic touristy stuff? I want to go see the Statue of Liberty! I want to go to the top of the Empire State Building! Oh, and I want to see a homeless man! Ugh, Karen, can we just make it a quick montage? I'm tired. Okay, let's go! Ugh. Karen, here's a hot dog. Yay! Uh, okay, Karen, are you happy? We did everything. Yes, thank you, Boyne. Okay, now let's go find my dad. Oh, Boyne, do we have to? I'm so tired! But Karen, that's the whole reason we came to New York in the first place! Fine, Boyne. Okay, now I think I know where my dad is. I googled this deli so we can find it. Let's go get a taxi. Alright, Karen, I'm gonna hail us a taxi. I know how to do this. I'm from here. Taxi! Taxi! Ta taxi! Ta Alright, screw me then. Okay, that's fine. Ta taxi! 
Hey, hey, ta no, yeah, okay, you're just gonna leave. Ta taxi? Ta I mean, you can take a bus. I don't wanna take a bus. Ta taxi? Ta taxi? Oh, what's this? That's a normal car. That's just a normal car that we can't ride with them. That's ta a pretty car. It is. Taxi, ta taxi? Okay, this, they don't care. Ta taxi? I mean, I'll, I'll take a bicycle. What are those? No, I don't know. Yes. Can, can you get, taxi, 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 no. They're not listening to you. I know they're not listening, Karen. Let's try somewhere else. Come on, Karen, look, this one's already parked. Let's get in this one. Come okay, on. buddy! Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Ugh, I hate taxis. Come on, Boiny, this is fun! Hello, this is Camille, Happy Baba. Camille is in camel, Happy Baba is in corn on the cob. And where can I take you today? Uh, the Brooklyn Deli, please. All right, I'm on it. Well, here it is, Brooklyn Deli. You own a deli? No. Then why is it named after you? Because my dad owns it. He named it after me back when he actually loved me, but I haven't talked to him in years. Let's go see if he's here. Boy, I'm so excited to meet your dad. Just calm down, Karen. We don't even know if he's here. What? Oh, oh, hey, hey, Artie, we actually got a customer. Like, we actually have one. Yeah, you pull, pull out the turkey ass and, and the chicken nipples. Oh, there he is. Hey, what can I do for the sexy lady? Oh, <gasps> sexy? Boy, your dad loves me. Yeah. Dad, look, it's me. It's Brooklyn. What? Brookie, what the hell are you doing here? You know I left your mother for a reason. Well, yeah, Dad, I know, but look, I, I need something. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting a cent out of me. You know how much turkey ass I sell? Not a lot. Nobody wants to eat turkey ass. Well, then why do you sell it? No, no Dad, look, it's, it's worse than that. Oh no, is she pregnant? No, no, she's not pregnant. Well, do you want her to get pregnant? Because I'll get her pregnant. She's hot. No, dad, ew, look, no, no. What she needs, she, she needs a kidney transplant. Boy, I don't need a kidney transplant. Your shut, mother needs shut, a- Shut up, Karen, you need a kidney transplant. Well, what kind of kidney do you need? I, I got goat kidney, I got, I got chicken kidney, I got turkey ass. No, I don't want turkey ass. No, no, dad, she has to get a human kidney or she's gonna die. Oh, she's gonna die. I don't want her to die. She's hot. Okay. Okay, I'll do it for her, because she's hot. What, really, Dad? You'll do it? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, hey, Ernie, Ernie, I need you to watch this door while I'm gone. Put the turkey ass in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. There's nobody named Ernie back there. I'm so lonely. All right, Dad, I'm about to give you the anesthesia. Where's your wife, the hot one? I want her to be the last thing I see when I go under in case I die. Uh, she's, she, she's in the other room, but look at the nurse. Hey, how old are you? I'm 25. You're too old. Beat it, Granny. All right, Dad, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, 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 wait. My, my kidney is going in your wife, right? Like, part of me is going inside her? That's what I want. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, put me under. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That takes me back here. Oh. Hey, Dad, the surgery was a success. Well, I'm glad I could help your wife. Thank you so much for saving Mother. Jonathan, I told you not to come in here. But I wanted to thank him for saving Mother. Johnny, what are you doing in here, you virgin bitch? I am not a virgin. Ask my hand. Jonathan, get out of here. But I wanted to thank Father for saving Mother. I literally watched you take his kidney out and put it inside of her. How heroic. Brookie, what's he talking about? I, I, I don't know. Hey, douchebag. Babs, what are you doing here? You gave me your kidney. What, did you really put my kidney? Me in this bitch? I, I'm sorry, Dad. It was the only way. She was gonna die. What, you're telling me she's gonna die? Damn it. Yeah. See, now I'm gonna drink twice as much because I'm gonna try to kill this kidney because that's the closest I'm gonna get to killing you. Oh, that's it. I'm never talking to any of yous ever again. Ooh, ooh, maybe tonight we can all go out as a family for dinner. Yeah, Jonathan, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Somebody call me a taxi. Dad, can't we just talk about this? No, I want nothing to do with you. You stole my kidney. But I was just trying to save Mom's life. Why? Well, I just didn't want to hear Jonathan cry about it. I'm disowning you. You're not my son anymore. Oh, come on, Dad. There's got to be something I can do to make it up to you. Hmm. Let me, let me bang your hot wife. Oh, how charming. Okay, well, that's obviously not happening. Okay, then. No deal. Oh, come on, Dad. What, what if I could get you your kidney back? Hmm, okay, I'm listening. Now you just walk up to that bitch and rip it out. Well, I don't know about that, but I can definitely get you a kidney. All right, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna sit here and hang out with your hot wife. And if something freaky happens, you can forget about the kidney. Well, I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. Hey, is Brookie hung? He gets it from his father.
Hey guys. Hi. Did you just walk into our house? Yeah, hey listen, uh, I was wondering if I could borrow something. Like what? Milk, eggs, sugar? Yeah, something simple like that. Just uh, a human kidney. A human kidney? Yeah. Why do you need one of those? Are you sick? Oh no, nothing like that. It's just, it's kind of a long story. Well, we need to hear this long story if you're gonna ask for one of our kidneys. Well, I mean, it's a pretty typical situation. You know, my mom needed a kidney because she has a drinking problem, so I tricked my dad into giving her one of his kidneys by telling him that my wife needed a kidney, but now he's mad because he hates my mom because they're divorced, and now he wants his kidney back that he gave to her, but she won't give it back because she hates him because he cheated on her with a 20-year-old, and that's a whole nother story. But, so now I have to find a new kidney to give him to tell him that it's the one that he gave to my mom. You know, typical family drama. Well, we're not giving you one of our kidneys. Oh, come on, pretty please. Well, no, no, we're not giving you a stupid kidney. That's so dumb. Just give him one of yours. No, I, I need mine. Come well, on, well, I just need one of your kidneys. Like, you guys can rock, paper, scissors for it. The well, winner can give me the kidney. No! No, okay, fine. Then the loser can give me the kidney. I don't care. We're not playing rock, paper, scissors. Okay, fine. Flip a coin or something. We're, we're not giving you a kidney. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were my friends. We are your friend. Well, friends give friends' dads kidneys. No, why don't you just go ask a bum for a kidney? I don't know any bums. Ask Chef Pee Pee. Well, that's mean. Well, listen, he's probably not using his kidneys and he'll probably sell you one for some money. Hmm, okay, I guess I can talk to him. <laughs> hey, no, not right now, Junior, I'm cooking. Wait, wait, you're not Junior. No, I'm not. Wait, what are you doing here? What do you want? Well, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. God, why does everybody want a favor from PP? Pee -Pee? What do you want from me? Well, now that I've seen your attitude, I'm kind of scared to ask. Good, don't ask. Well, I, I was just wondering if you would sell me something. I'll do anything for money. <laughs> anything. Oh, okay, okay great, because I have $5,000 here. Whip it out, right now. What? But I'll do it. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 not that. No, I, I, I was wondering if I could buy one of your kidneys. <laughs> oh, 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 good thing. Good thing you asked for a kidney. Because <laughs> I'll never do the other thing. Never, ever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the cutter right now. I'll do it for the money. <laughs> uh, really? Right here? Yes, if I could watch the money while you cut. But, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <sighs> Uh, huh, thanks for the kidney. No, thank you for the money. Oh, I'll do the other thing for free though. No, I'm good. Come back and love me! So, uh, does the carpet match the drapes? Actually, we were thinking about changing the color. Shave the carpet. Hey, Dad, 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 I got your kidney back. See, see, you see it, Dad? Oh, that's actually mine? No, no, give me that. See, this could be you, and this kidney could be my balls. I, okay, Dad, just focus on the kidney. Oh, give it here. Let me see this thing. Hey there, kidney. I missed you. You know what, kid? I forgive you. Really, Dad? Yeah, I do. What about me, Faja? Do you love me too? Please? Jonathan, get out of here, you virgin bitch! <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to watch the Miami Heat win tonight. Go Heat! But boy, the up and down three to one? Well, yes, but that's because Jimmy Butler wants a challenge. You see, because the only team to come back from a 3-1 to one deficit was LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler wants to outdo him. But, Boyney, what would happen if they were to lose? They're not going to lose, Karen. You know why? Because you can't spell heat without eat, which is what Jimmy Butler's going to do to those nuggets, just like I'm going to do to these nuggets. I'm going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Those nuggets suck. Well, not these nuggets. These nuggets are delicious. I mean, the Denver nuggets suck. Hey, Karen, guess what? It's Grimace's birthday today. What? You know, Grimace, Ronald McDonald's friend, today's his birthday. Oh! Yeah, it's his birthday, and you know what he wanted for his birthday? For the Heat to win! I don't believe you, Boiny. I think you're lying. No, no, I'm not lying, because me and Grimace are friends. We talk all the time. As a matter of fact, that's why he gave me his birthday shake. Oh, I want one! No, because you doubted the Heat. Because we are going to win tonight because of Jimmy Buckets. He's going to make us win. He's going to beat those Nuggets. Watch, he's going to eat them up. Nom, 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 nom. Hey, Boiny, who won your game? <gasps> why are you so sad, Boiny? Aw, oh, you didn't finish your chicken nuggets? Did they hurt your belly? Well, who won your basketball game, Boiny? The nuggets. <gasps> oh my god, the Heat lost? Is that why you're sad? No, Karen. If we had lost together as a team, I wouldn't be sad. I'd say, well, we tried. No, Karen, I'm sad because Jimmy Butler decided to choke the biggest, fattest, girthiest, veiniest dick. Oh, he did, Karen. He did it right there out in the court in front of God and everybody. They even caught it on video. You want to see? I warn you, it's pretty graphic, so shield your eyes. There's Jimmy Butler. We're down by one. He's right under the goal. We just need a two-pointer. And then all of a sudden he goes, here you go, other team. You take the ball. Maybe you'll know what to do with it. I just want to start choking on giant throbbing. Boyney! Well, he did, Karen. You saw it. Boyney, that one play didn't cost him the whole 
whole game. No, you're right, Karen. It wasn't just that one play. It was also this one. See, we're down by three. We just need a three to tie it. I don't know why the fuck they put the ball in Jimmy's hands. He's been sucking all night. And then Jimmy says, maybe if I throw the ball as fast as I can in the general direction of the goal while I'm covered and there's somebody right in my face, I can get back to sucking throbbing, veiny, giant- Bonnie, cut it out! Well, Karen, you saw the footage. Bonnie, they always have next year. No, they don't, Karen. We weren't even supposed to be here this year. We just got lucky. But what about Himothy? Him! Himmy! Himothy cost us the game. Himmy should have just stayed his ass on the bench. We were doing better without him. Boiny, you don't mean that. You love him. Loved. Past tense. I hate him now. But Boiny, what about the back of your jersey? You want to marry him. Yeah, well, now I want a divorce. <gasps> well, what did I do? From him, Karen. Boiny, I think you just need to go lie down. Yeah, I'm going to go lie down on the railroad tracks in front of a train so I get run over. Boy I'm gonna go take a shower, because I've been wearing this garbage bag all night, and I probably smell like shit, because Jimmy was playing like uh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, Jimmy? Boiny, you're gonna have to turn the water on if you're gonna take a shower. No, I don't. My tears will be the water. Boiny, it's just a game! Oh, that wasn't even a game. That was just hand the ball to the Denver Nuggets so they can score and win and get their rings while Jimmy claps for them and hands them their trophy, and don't forget he sucked them all off. Boiny, don't start that again, and take your jersey off! It's gonna get wet! I can't take it off. It's melted to my body from the heat of that giant steaming shit pile that Jimmy left out on the court. You know, I didn't even know he was that backed up. It's probably from all the coffee. What? Have I told you about the coffee yet? No, Bonnie! You're talking nonsense. Either get, take a shower or get out. Okay. Hey, Boiny, I know what'll make you feel better. Do you want to fool around? I'm gonna explain the coffee thing. So Jimmy has his own coffee company called Big Face Coffee, and he wants to be the biggest coffee brand in the world. Well, that's not gonna beat Starbucks, Boiny. I love them. Yeah, maybe he should focus on playing basketball. You know, because he's a basketball player. Maybe if you win a goddamn championship, people will want to drink your coffee, Jimmy. Imagine this. Imagine saying, hmm, I'm drinking NBA champion Jimmy Butler's coffee. Doesn't that sound better than I'm drinking NBA loser Jimmy Butler's coffee? You can't even beat nuggets, Jimmy. How you expect to beat Frappuccinos. Pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice with sweet bus. Okay, Boiny, calm down. Let's just get some sleep. God damn it, Jimmy. Get your priorities straight. Boiny! No, no, I'm just trying to do the math. Do the math here with me, Karen. Let me figure this out. I don't want to do the math, Boiny. No, 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 we're gonna figure this out. Tell me why on game day he would decide to play cards with his friends while drinking coffee instead of going down to the court at 5 o'clock in the morning and shooting some hoops. You know, that's Kobe shit, but not Jimmy Butler. No, he wants to drink as much coffee as he can so he can have big IBS shits during the game. Boiny, if you're not going to bed, leave the room because I'm tired. You know who's not tired? Jimmy Butler because he's been drinking coffee all day and he didn't use up that energy on the court. So, hmm, I wonder where all that energy's going. Oh, I I know. I bet he's gonna use all that energy to suck big, fat, girthy- Good night, Boiny! <sighs> Didn't try. What the fuck was that? I could do that. Pay me a hundred million dollars to throw a ball at a hoop and just hope and drink coffee and play cards with my buddies. Hey, Dad! Oh, no, don't look, Penelope. You're not old enough. Daddy's watching an adult movie. No, you're not. You're just watching basketball. No, I'm watching Naughty Coffee Barista takes on burly five-man basketball team. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't see what that grown man is doing to all the men on that other team? Um, missing a bunch of basketball shots? Oh, yeah, he's doing a lot of that, but where is his mouth? What? Well, you see, Penelope, when two basketball players love each other very much, they suck each other off, and Jimmy must love the Nuggets because he's the only one sucking. Ew, Dad! <sighs> go get me my lighter. What? Go get me my goddamn lighter and a pen and some lighter fluid. Why? Just go get it! Okay. <sighs> Here, Dad, why did you want all this stuff? I'm burning my jersey. Don't you think you're taking this basketball game a little too seriously? Hey, well, at least somebody's taking it seriously, because Jimmy sure didn't. He thought that was practice. He thinks the game's tomorrow. Is it? No, it was tonight, and they lost, because Jimmy thought it was opposite day. He thought the team with the least points won. He thought he was playing golf. Oh, so he lost? Penelope, get the hell out of here. You're starting to piss me off. Fine. <sighs> I loved this jersey. But Jimmy doesn't love basketball. No, he loves coffee. So this is what happens to this jersey. Make sure I put a lot of this on there. I want it to burn nice and good. <sighs> Goodbye, Jimmy. Some heat showed up today. That's not funny, Boyne. You could have burned the house down. I didn't say it was funny. None of this is funny. Cut the crap 
pointy and take your sad eyes off. Oh, I'm afraid the sad eyes are gonna stay. For how long? For a very long time, until Jimmy Butler wins a championship. Pointy, that might never happen. Oh, it won't. Believe me, I know it won't. Pointy, why don't you become like a Brooklyn Nets fan? You know, because of your name, Brooklyn Tea Guy. Wait, you know my name? Then why do you always call me Boiny? I thought you didn't know my name. I don't call you Boiny, Boiny. I call you Boiny. Wh why don't you call me Brooklyn? Because that's my name. But I like calling you Boiny. It's a thing. Okay, well, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Who am I going to root for? Seth Curry, the lesser of the Currys, the underachieving one. He's the brother of Steph Curry. And I guess if you say his name fast enough, it sounds like that. I think you got that wrong, Boiny. Stephanie's a girl's name. Well, look, I'm not going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan. Well, Boiny, why don't you go back to work? Get your mind off things. Yeah, there's an idea. Everybody should do what they're paid to do, because it's their job, and not just throw it all away so that they can make coffee. Have you even tried this coffee, Boiny? I don't know where the fuck to buy it. Miami? Oh, well, that would make sense. Well, maybe if he won a championship, people would know where to buy his coffee. <sighs> but yes, you're right. Maybe I'll try to go to work. Boiny, put your clothes on! Hey, nurse, what do you got for me? Chester Cheetah overdose on Cheeto dust again. Oh, man, Chester. I think we should give him some Narcan and try to resuscitate him. Yeah, that sounds cool. Hey, could you check out this coffee I made in the break room? Doctor, I think we should focus on the patient. Yeah, you would think that we should probably do that because that's our jobs and that's what we get paid to do, but I want to try to start a coffee company. Doctor, I think we're losing him. Just try it real quick. Come on, take a uh, It smells like a crappy cup of coffee. Do you think I could beat Starbucks? Doctor, I think we lost him. Oh. Well, never mind then. How was your day at work, Boiny? Well, I did a better job than Jimmy. I only killed one person. He killed the hearts of every Miami Heat fan. You killed someone today, Boiny? Yeah, I tried the Jimmy method. I got to work and then started my own coffee company. What does that have to do with killing someone? What does it have to do with basketball? Aren't they supposed to drink Gatorade or some shit? You know, coffee's a diuretic. He was probably dehydrated as fuck. I've never seen after the Super Bowl people run up and dump a bunch of coffee on their coach and give them third degree burns. Boiny, leave! Jimmy Butler alone. Oh, okay. I mean it, Boiny. What do you think he's doing right now? Not pouting like you. Yeah, of course not. He get paid a hundred million dollars just to drink coffee and give the ball to the other team. What? I'll get it. Are you gonna go get it, Boiny? Yeah. Go! Oh, I'm sorry. I was giving a Jimmy amount of effort. Ugh. Hello. Hello there. What did you? Jimmy Butler, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in all the Denver Nuggets houses blowing them? Well, I came by to explain myself. Oh, good, because I was really wondering why the hell you played like dog shit tonight. Well, you see, the Denver Nuggets have never won a championship before. But see, the Miami Heat, we've won three. So I felt bad and I let them win. Well, that does explain why you passed the ball directly to the other team when we were only down by one. Yeah, I tried to hide that the best I could, but whoops. Whoops, yeah, yeah, whoops. Well, I mean, I guess I understand why you let them win, but did you really have to suck them off, too? Well, listen, see, I'll try harder next season, and I'll win it all. Okay, well, that is good to know. Yeah, you want to buy some coffee? I would not, but I actually really recommend that you take this and drink this instead on game day. Oh, well, no thank you. I like my coffee. Please, please take this. No, the coffee's good for me. No, I'm literally begging you, Jimmy. No, you hold on to that for me. Maybe practice next time? No, see you next season. Okay, Jimmy, oh, he didn't take it. Mm. Who was at the door, Boiny? Oh, nobody. Just a coffee salesman. At this time of night? Yeah. Was it Jimmy Butler? It was Jimmy Butler, yeah. Come on, come on! I don't care about Vincent Van Gogh's ear! Hurry up and go to the next one! Boy, hey, what you doing? I'm watching this online ear auction. I'm trying to buy Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. Ew! Boy Someone bit off. Because nobody else has it and I want it. Shh, it's coming up. All right, for our next item up to auction, we have Evander Holyfield's right ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. And to verify the authenticity of said ear, we have the Mr. Evander Holyfield. So, Mr. Holyfield, this is your ear, correct? Oh, uh, what's that? This ear is your ear, correct? Uh, repeat it again. The ear on the table is, in fact, the ear that Mike Tyson bit off of you. Hey, hey let's switch seats. I can hear your ass. You know my ear on the table. My apologies, sir. 
So, Mr. Hollyfield, yeah. everyone wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my ear right there. And why are you selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills, do. <laughs> it's the rent, you know, I gotta pay it. You heard it here first, folks. Evan Hollyfield needs to pay his rent. So, let's start the bidding at $1,000. Do I hear $1,000? A 1000 going once, A 1000 going twice. Nothing. Okay. How about five hundred dollars? Anyone for five hundred dollars? Bid on it, Boiny. Five hundred is too much. I can get them lower. You in the back, sir. Uh, you're just getting up to use the bathroom. Understood. Maybe a hundred dollars. Do I hear a hundred dollars? I get your earring with it. Come on. A hundred dollars? I'm buying it. A hundred dollars? Uh, I've just been notified that someone from the online auction has bought the ear for one hundred dollars. Congrats, sir. You wanna come up? Mm. Yes! Yes! I won! I won the ear Mike Tyson bit off! Yes! Boiny, what are you gonna do when you get your bitten off the ear? Well, I'm gonna put it in my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. And whenever I meet people, I'm gonna say, Hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it. And they're gonna say, no uh And then I'm gonna whip it out and show them, and they're gonna think I'm cool. But how are they gonna know it was really his ear? It comes with a certificate of ear authenticity. Well, when does it get ear? Well, it gets ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight shipping. It's coming from Las Vegas. Oh! Let's go to bed. I can't wait to get my ear. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna count sheep while I sleep. I'm gonna count ears. One ear, two ears. Boiny, I know you're not sleeping. Your eyes are still open. I know, that's how excited I am. Boiny, you wanna fool around? Only if I can do it in your ear. Boiny, that's icky. I know, I'm going to sleep. Huh? It's morning, Karen! Boiny, it's too early for this! I'm gonna go track my package! Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered! What? Package destroyed? What? Destroyed? Boiny, what's wrong? I'm on the UPS website, and it says my package was destroyed! What? I don't know, let me check the news! Breaking news, Mkay! A UPS plane has crashed into a children's hospital, destroying all the packages and killing hundreds of people. What? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe my luck! I know, Boiny! It's awful! All those children are dead! Oh, my package is gone! Boiny, this family's suffering out there! I'm suffering, Karen! I'm the one whose package got destroyed! Oh, why does God hate me? Why does he make this happen to me? Stop so selfish, Boiny. Karen, that was a Vander Holyfield's only ear that got bitten off. It was irreplaceable. How on earth could this have happened? Cut it out with the puns, Boiny. It's not a joke. No, I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people died, but you can always make more kids. You can't make more of a Vander Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. You could do that one more time, but I bet he's not going to do it. I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not going to let him bite the other one off. Cut it out. No, no, I'm gonna go to the auction house and I'm gonna say, how are you gonna make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite Evander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. Buddy! No, I'm gonna go there and tell him. Order, order, order. Damn it. Well, in any case, I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is demanding to get Evander Holyfield's other ear because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn Guy, explain what's going on. So I purchased a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bid off for $100 in an auction. And I was really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. And then BAM! The plane carrying the ear crashes and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind! So now, they owe me a Vander Holyfield's other ear, and I want Mike Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. Hmm. Very interesting. Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. It should be their job to get him a new Holyfield ear. Hmm, yes, that does make sense that it is UPS's fault that their plane crashed. So, Brooklyn guy, couldn't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the ear? I don't want a refund. I want Evander Holyfield's ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. They owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, and I want you to make Mike Tyson bite it off and spit it into my hand. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite Evander Holyfield's other ear off. But I suppose I could give you a 24-hour pass to go bite it off. Wait, me? I could bite his other ear off? Yes, you have 24 hours to go bite Evander Holyfield's ear off without it being considered a crime. But after that 24-hour period, it will become a crime, so you better go. 
Bite his ear off. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor! Now, where is he? <laughs> hey, Marvin. I liked it better when you would knock before you came in my house. It's really important this time. Ooh, I really do like your hair, though. Oh, thank you. You look good. Oh, well, I don't feel good. Did you see on the news about the UPS plane that crashed into that children's hospital? I know, that was so sad. Wait, you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, maybe you should have been more considerate. A lot of people died. Yeah, whatever, but my package was one of a kind. It was irreplaceable. What was your package, like a kitten or a puppy? No, it was a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. You bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. Oh, okay, so why do you even care if it was only a hundred dollars? Because it's not about the money, Marvin, it's about the ear. And the judge says I have 24 hours to legally bite off of Vander Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one, he was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. I know, but I just came to you to see if you know where a Vander Holyfield is. I don't know where that guy is, I don't even know what he does now. Oh. Well, maybe you could try calling his agent and asking his agent where he is. Ooh, see, Marvin, this is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay, I googled his agent's phone number, and I'm going to call him. Hello, you've reached Steve Staleberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, do you represent Evander Holyfield? I do! Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? <laughs> Let's just say it's an earful. Well, what is it? In my mouth. What? <laughs> I'm gonna bite his ear off because the judge said I could. Hello? Hello? Uh, he hung up on me. Well, maybe because the way you approached the situation. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said you were gonna bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? <sighs> okay, I'll... I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's ringing. Hello, you read Steve Stalberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, you represent a Vander Holyfield, correct? <sighs> this isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it? We get those all the time. No, 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 this is a business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. So where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. Uh, okay, well then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll let them know you're coming. Thank you. They said he's at Applebee's. Which Applebee's? The Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll, I'll dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. Hello, welcome to Applebee's. What would you like to drink? Sir? Sir? Oh, oh, you, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I could, hey, you know, I'm missing the air now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. W what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Yeah, you're fired. Oh! <laughs> hey there, Mr. Holyfield. Oh, you recognize me? <laughs> oh, you must be a fan of something. Yeah, I'm a big fan. You want an autograph? No, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, what can I get you started with? Maybe an appetize ear? Oh, uh... Uh, what you got, what you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible? Ooh, um, hmm. I ain't really in a Tex-Mex shrimp. Oh, uh, okay, well, what do you want? Mm, how about we go with a cheeseburger? Ooh, a cheeseburger ear, good choice. Well, which one do you want? Take a good hard look. Hmm. what you got, what you got? How about an impossible cheeseburger? Uh, okay, yeah, an impossible burger, I got you. I'll, I'll go put that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Holyfield, here's your cheeseburg ear and your complimentary fries. All right, calm down, nigga. That's a lot of ear jokes. Sorry. Jeez. Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. Whatever. Are, are you going to watch me eat? Um, do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us here. Uh, on my burger? Y yeah, can, can we, like, do it close to your face, though? Like, maybe we, like, Lady in the Trampet? Uh, whatever, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> News, okay. An Applebee's waiter has bitten off Evander Holyfield's other ear while eating dinner. He actually did it. <laughs> what? Ew, why would you still have it in your mouth? I don't know. I just <laughs> thought it was cool. Okay, well, that's like Mike Tyson. That's disgusting. Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? No, because it's still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Well, how would anyone know? You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say this is the ear Mike Tyson bit off. But I don't have a certificate of ear authenticity. <laughs> hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're gonna be uploading gaming videos every single day. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. And 
done. Finished another one. What are you doing, baby? I'm making snowflakes with Jeffy. Oh, those look so good. Thank you. How does yours look, Jeffy? Mine look like dick. Well, Jeffy, you made it look like dick. <laughs> You said my snowflakes look like dick! Marvin, that's mean! No, he literally cut out the word dick on his! And what is this supposed to be? Penises. <laughs> Jeffy! There's someone at the door, I'll get it. Hello? Knock, knock. Hello? What do you mean, hello? I said knock, knock. You're supposed to say who's there. But I already see you, I know who's there. I, I was doing a knock, knock joke. But you rang the doorbell, well, and I, I already opened the door. That's why I said knock, knock. Have you never done a knock, knock joke before? Not at my actual door. Just let me in, you ruined my joke. Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the cop. Shut up, let me tell you the joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? No bell. No bell who? No bell, that's why I knocked. <laughs> but we have a doorbell and he rang it. You keep ruining my jokes. Okay, fine, here's another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Haywood. Haywood who? Haywood, you blow me. <laughs> <laughs> See, he liked it. Why are you here? Well, it's sad boy hours, because I just found out I'm going to jail for 21 days. But you're a cop. You can go to jail? Yeah, surprisingly, cops can break laws, too. Yeah, I got a DUI again for the sixth time. And you're going to go to jail for it? Yeah, they plastered the video of it all over the news. So whatever you do, please don't watch the news. Baby, turn on the news. Aw. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? A police officer was arrested for a DUI and thought he was above the law. We have the shocking body cam footage here. <laughs> shit, shit. Hey, mate, you been drinking tonight? Hey, you, you can't pull me over, okay? I'm a cop. I pull people over, not you. How much have you had to drink tonight? I, I have only had six beers, but they come in a pack of six. So basically one, so you can't arrest me. Ugh, you're not making this easy on me, mate. You know my body cam's on. Oh, the body cam. Where, where was that body cam? Is that it? Hey, body cam. Fuck you, okay? I do what I want. I'm a bubble. <laughs> oh, man, you know I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna run. Please don't. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Here I go. No, no, no. Uh, Mate, you're not going anywhere. You know the car's in park. Shit. Well, yeah, you're under arrest. I guess you got me. Oh, wow. You were ugly, disgusting drunk. Yeah, well, your snowflake looks like dick. <laughs> you said my snowflake looks like dick. <laughs> It was his snowflake, not mine. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Your joke's not funny anymore. Aw, now we're all sad. So why are you here telling us you're going to jail? Well, there is a problem, because I mean, this is a video after all. So the judge sends me to 21 days in jail, and he gave me this go to jail card. See, it says go to jail, go directly to jail, do not pass go, do not collect any cash. So I've been suspended without pay, and I have to report to jail tomorrow. Of course, I already told my wife I had to go to jail today. My problem is, I'm going to be in jail on Christmas, and now I'm worried I might not get any presents from Santa. So I was thinking I could spend the night here and maybe go up to the North Pole and try to trick Santa into thinking Christmas is tonight so I can get my presents early. But won't you be on the naughty list because of the DUIs? Oh, I don't think Santa cares about some DUIs. I mean, the song says you better not pout, you better not cry, not you better not get a DUI. But it also says be good for goodness sake and DUIs are bad. Hmm. Well, that's why when I'm in the North Pole, I can put my name on the nice list. You're not sad that you're not going to see your wife or daughter on Christmas? Hell no. I suck at giving gifts anyway. I'm only good at receiving them. Like oral. Yeah, last year I gave my daughter a Blu-ray copy of the movie Zephora, because she wanted Sephora, you know, like the makeup, and I got confused. So on Christmas, we all sat around watching Zephora, and we were all really disappointed, both by the movie and my mistake. And I also gave my wife some pretty bad pop. Oh, so you have to go to the North Pole? Well, I wanted you to come with me. Oh, can I go? Yeah, sure, the more the merrier. Everybody can come. Can I come? No! Fuck you! Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. Here you go, Santa. Huh? I brought you your milk and cookies for dinner. Oh, thanks, Pepper. Where's my chocolate chip cookies? Well, this is Oreos. It's milk's favorite cookie. It's not my favorite. And what the hell is this? 2% reduced fat? Well, you've been getting a lot of weight, Santa. I know I've been gaining some weight, and plus, you know I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> oh, good one, Santa. Pepper, you're a weird little fucker, but I like you. Santa, it's time to check your list. Oh, I hate checking the list. But Santa, you gotta check it twice. Okay. It's all there. Santa, you gotta check it twice! Okay! Santa, you didn't really check it! That better? 
You didn't look. I'm having my milk and cookies. But Santa, the lettuce from the children came in for Christmas. The deadline's already passed. They're gonna get what they get. Can I have a cookie, Santa? Oh, sure, Pepper. Go ahead. Thank you. Oh, the darn thing's stuck. I hate when it gets stuck. I don't want to rip it, because then the cookies will go stale. I almost got it. Hold on. Sorry, Santa. Come on, Pepper, hurry up. Oh, I think I'm getting it. It's coming along. All right, time's up, Pepper. Aww. Wow, Santa, you're so strong. Look, there's Santa. He's eating his milk and cookies. And look, there's the note of your nice book. Now I just need somebody to distract him while I check and see if my name is on the nice list. If not, I'll add it. How are we going to distract Santa Claus? I got an idea. Pepper, these cookies taste like shit. I think they're expired. No, I just put one in my ass. You just got the wrong cookie. Pepper, you're a weird little fucker. But I like you. Hey Santa, I just subscribed to Mrs. Claus's OnlyFans. What? Let me see that. Come on, elves. Yeah. Quick, Marvin, pass me the book. Here you go. Let me see. Uh, let me check Naughty first. Oh, no, I'm right there. I'm number four. Wait a minute. I'm on the naughty list, too? No, Marvin, we didn't come here to fix yours. You still have until Christmas to be nice. I'm going to jail. Hold on, let me just scratch this out. Okay, now I gotta put it in nice. Okay, I'm gonna be the lookout. Okay, I added my name to the nice list. Well, actually, I spelled my name wrong the first time because I'm dyslexic. But now all we have to do is convince Santa that tonight is Christmas so he delivers my presents. Hey, you're messing with the naughty or nice list, Santa! Jumper, Marvin! What, jumper? Yes, get her! <laughs> Marvin, why the hell are you wearing that elf suit? I was thinking that I could dress like an elf and tell Santa that tonight's Christmas and he'll believe me. Oh, good idea, Marvin. Wish I thought of that. Oh, shit, he's coming. I'll hide under the table. Oh, I can't believe Mrs. Claus created an OnlyFans page and only charging four bucks to see pictures of her hoo-ha. You can get a four for four at Wendy's for that. Probably tastes better and a little less fishy. Ha ha ha, funny Santa. Where's your glasses, Pepper? Uh, oh, I, I dropped them on the ground. Oh. Well, hopefully you didn't stick this one in your ass too. What? Not, oh, I, nope, not that one. Oh, I hope so. Well, tonight's Christmas. What? Yeah, like, like tonight's Christmas, like tonight's the night you have to go deliver the presents. But the reindeer are not even ready, and Rudolph's getting neutered, and he's got balls big as shit! Well, I guess you gotta deliver the presents without Rudolph. Well, I guess so. Watch out, New York City! Okay. <laughs> Let me get the sleigh. Good idea, Marvin, let's get back home! I didn't know Santa made 9-11 jokes. What are you doing, Santa? Loading the gifts on the sleigh to deliver tonight. Santa, are you feeling okay? Christmas isn't for another two weeks. But you told me Christmas was tonight. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Peppermint, don't lie to me, because I'll bend you over my knee and spank you. Ugh, I wish I lied to you, Santa, but I didn't. Well, who did? I don't know. Let me check the security cameras. Oh, it looks like some guy broke in and wrote his name in your book. What? Brooklyn? And he added it to the nice list? I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Oh, teach me a lesson, Santa. Bend me over and spank me like a naughty schoolboy. Peppermint, you're a naughty fucker, but I love you. Oh my god, Marvin, I can't believe that actually worked. It did? Yeah, I put my name in the nice list, so now Santa's gonna come deliver presents tonight. Hey, do you guys have any pajamas? I'm just so excited. I wanna go to sleep right now so Santa comes. Why do you need pajamas? Well, I don't wanna sleep in my cop uniform. I gotta sleep in something loose, because I get raging morning wood and it hurts. Oh, I don't think I have pajamas that are your size. What size is that? Fat? No, I wasn't calling you fat. I just don't know if we're the same size. What were you calling me then? I, I wasn't calling you anything. Yeah, okay. Well, you can make it up to me by spooning me. I'm not gonna spoon you. Well, I was gonna be the big spoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? Ugh, good night. Good night. Get over here. Think you can go to bed all caked up like I ain't got a sweet tooth? Like I ain't trying to get a cavity? What you thought this was, man? What? Nothing, just kidding. What are you doing? What, you hear that? I think that's Santa Claus. It does sound like Santa Claus. Let's go check. Oh, Marvin, look at that. It's Santa Claus. And look at all those presents. They're all for me. Well, actually, he thinks it's Christmas, so those presents are for everyone. Oh, yeah. Well, most of them have got to be for me because I'm on the nice list. But you're not, so you're not getting any presents. I forgot I'm on the naughty list. Man, he is really taking a sweet time with those presents, huh? Well, he's got a fat dumpy, though. Oh, no, he's just scratching his ass. Hmm. 
Hurry up! So oh, he's gone. Okay, present time. No, oh, look at all these presents. Oh, this big one has to be for me. No, it's not for you. What about these down here? No, none of these are for you either. Well, where are my presents? Oh, uh, look, this one says Brooklyn guy. Mine, back off. Oh, I can't wait to see what it is. It could be anything. I had so many things on my list. It could be an Applebee's gift card. It could be a Denny's gift card. <gasps> a Chili's gift card. Or maybe it's a weighted blanket so I feel trapped yet comfortable. Oh, and I gotta check. Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. What? Coal? Why'd he give you coal? I don't know. How is this possible? I put my name on the nice list. Uh, look behind you. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck you, Brooklyn! Oh, well, now I guess I know what they mean when they say he knows if you've been bad or good. I guess he found out I put my name on the nice list. It's well, I guess, be okay. I guess I'll go to jail sad now. Well, I have a gift for you. Yeah, what is it? Wait, what's that? What? A get out of jail free card? Marvin, this is the best Christmas gift of all. Not going to prison. Come on, someone pass the ball to Jimmy. Pass it. There we go. There you go, Jimmy. Yes! Two points for the heat! Boiny, go to sleep! I'll go to sleep as soon as this Miami Heat game's over. But Boiny, aren't you on call for the fire station tonight? What if there's a fire? You're gonna need some sleep! Honey, fires don't happen at night. The only fire happening tonight is the Miami Heat! And Jimmy Butler, because he is on fire. Boiny, I still think you need some rest! Jimmy Butler doesn't need rest. 40 minutes of playing time is insane. Jimmy Butler's not a firefighter, Boiny. Yeah, well, he might as well be, because he's always dealing with the heat! Boiny, just go to sleep! Yeah, I'll go to sleep if they win. When they win. They're gonna win. What if they lose? Well, then I will stay up until their next game. Just go to sleep. Uh, yeah, come on, Jimmy! <laughs> the Heat won. Go Heat! Spoiny! <laughs> Houston Rockets. More like Houston Suckets. Because I suck at basketball. <laughs> they should change their name to that. Go to bed, Boiny! I am Karen. Oh, man, Jimmy Butler's so cool. He put up 30 points by himself. I bet Jimmy Butler could put up 30 points from his bed. <gasps> I bet I could put up 30 points from bed. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. I'm Jimmy Butler. Boiny, what the hell are you doing? Shut up, Karen. This is going to be cool. I'm Jimmy Butler. Okay, that was me shooting, but this is going to be Jimmy. Boyney, please. It's so late to be playing paper basketball. I just want to make one shot, Karen. Well, well how long is that going to take? It ends right here. Okay, this is starting to piss me off. Boyney, please go to bed. It's okay, Karen. It's game seven of the NBA Finals. They're up by one. There's three seconds left. It's up to me to make the game-winning shot. Three, two, one. I missed. We lost. Wait, what's that? Three more seconds were magically added. I get another shot. Boiny. It's okay, Karen. Three, two, one. Well, shit. Boiny, go to bed. Okay, okay. I'm going to bed. I'm done. But what's that? I was fouled, and I get a free throw. Boiny, what the hell? I was fouled, Karen. I get a free throw. Uh. All right, Boiny, you lost. The game's over. You were fouled. No time added to the clock magically. Now hand me the notebook paper. But, but I need this notebook for work. Give it to me, Boiny. No, no, I promise I won't touch it. Good night. You promise? I promise. Good night. Good night. You. Go to bed, Boyney! You never let me have any fun! Boyney, what are you doing now? I'm eating chips and queso. What? Uh, Karen, you know I have chips and queso in bed after every heat win. Boyney, please, just go to sleep! Okay, fine, right after this chip. Oh, man, the fire chief's calling. Hello? Guy! There's a fire at an apartment complex and you're the only firefighter within a hundred miles! Get your ass down here! Uh, okay, right away, sir. What's wrong, Boyney? Uh, there's a fire. Well, Boyney, you gotta get ready! You gotta get up! You gotta go! Uh, but I'm tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night watching basketball and playing paper basketball and eating chips and queso in bed! Uh, I know, I know. Alright, let me just get my fire outfit.
Uh, where is that firefighter outfit? Not cop. Uh, not doctor. Uh, not clown. Not airline pilot. Not karate instructor. Damn it! Karen, have you seen my firefighter outfit? No, Boiny, I haven't seen it anywhere. Did you check the drawer? Yeah, no shit, I checked the drawer. Uh, let me just lay here and think about the last time I had it. Maybe I'll think better with my eyes closed. Oh no, I have 39 missed calls from the fire chief? Oh no, the fire! That, that, that was hours ago, right? I mean, somebody had to have put it out by now. I better go to the fire station. Hey, hey there, chief, I'm here, I got your calls. Oh, did you? Well, where you been, guy? You're several hours late. I, I had a, a flat tire and the heat one. Oh yeah? Well, the heat one against that apartment building too, because the whole building burned down and all 50 people inside died. What, 50 people died? Why didn't anybody put out the fire? Well, you were the only firefighter we had on duty, guy. We were waiting on you. Well, why didn't you put out the fire? I, I'm the chief. I, I'm the police chief and the firefighter chief. I, I don't do that, I'm the chief. What, so, so 50 people died? because of me? Yes, guy! We were waiting on you, and you never came! This is all your fault! <laughs> 50 people died because of me! <laughs> Whitey, what's wrong? Did you put out the fire? No, I let 50 people die. What? I fell asleep after the chief called me, so nobody was there to put out the fire. So the building burned down and everyone died. Boiny, how could you? I was just so tired. Well, you shouldn't have stayed up all night, Boiny. Think of all the people that suffered. I didn't think watching the heat would make so many people die from heat. I just can't believe all those people burning the women and the children and the poor animals. Oh, God, the animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go to one of my other jobs and try to distract myself. <laughs> uh, maybe flying a plane will help me clear my mind. Let me just tell everybody the weather. Uh, thanks for flying Spirit Airlines today. Uh, weather's looking pretty smooth. It's a nice 87 degrees outside. Uh, should be nice and smooth sailing from here to Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm crying. It's just that I killed 50 people earlier today. I just really hope I don't kill anyone else. <laughs> Why are they screaming? There's no turbulence. Damn it, Gar! You scared the hell out of those passengers! I'm sorry, Flight Chief. I just wanted to tell them about the 50 people I killed. Well, maybe you shouldn't fly a plane for a little while. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I'll go do my doctor job, then I can actually save lives. Well, time to save some lives. Okay, nurse, what patients do we have today? No patients today, doctor. Just a bunch of corpses from the fire that happened earlier this morning. Oh, God, no! Poor little Timmy over here, for example. Oh, Timmy, I'm sorry, Timmy. This is all my fault. Are you okay, doctor? No, I'm just gonna go do house calls. Oh, man, I'm so sick. <laughs> Jeffy, can you please bring me a cough drop? Oh, yeah, Daddy. I got your cough drop right Right here, go ahead and grab it. Jeffy, don't talk like that, give it to me. Oh yeah! Baby, can you take the wrapper off? Okay. Oh, you don't like protection, Daddy? You like it raw? Jeffy, shut up. Here, Marvin. Oh yeah, put that thing in your mouth, Daddy. Does it feel huge in your mouth? Jeffy, shut up, just get out of here. All right. Baby, did you call a doctor? Yeah, he's on his way, Marvin. Hey there, somebody call a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> But what's wrong with you? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. What's wrong with you? Well, I have a really bad cough. Uh, well, at least you didn't burn to death. <laughs> what? Marvin, look, the news! Uh. Breaking news, okay? An apartment complex burned down, killing 50 people inside because the fire department didn't show up. How sad. Oh my god, those four people! Why didn't the fire department show up? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he was too busy sleeping because he stayed up all night watching the heat and then he was eating chips and queso and playing paper basketball. Maybe that's why. Well, that's really irresponsible. I know. I'm so sorry. Wait, you did all those things? Yeah. You killed those people? Don't rub it in. I already feel bad enough. Well, baby, it might not be completely his fault. What, what happened to the other firefighters? Well, I don't know. Maybe there's like a recession and we're on to 
was stabbed. I don't know. And like there was 50 people in the building. Why didn't some of them run out? Well, who knows? Maybe they were trapped. And I could have saved them. Well, don't beat yourself up about it, buddy. You know, you win some, you lose 50 people sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, it's not completely your fault. You could have only saved, like, what, possibly 25 if you tried? Yeah, you're probably right. I feel a lot better now. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a birthday party I have to go be a clown at. Wait, 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 my cough! My... <coughs> oh, dang it. Happy birthday, Tyler. All your friends are here. Do you want to open your gifts? Of course I do! That's the only good thing about my birthday! Okay, your first gift is a Lego Speed Champions. That's not what I wanted, you bitch! Tyler! Well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Go work at Taco Bell or something, Felipe! Tyler, don't talk to your friends. This party sucks ass! Oh, look, Tyler, your clown is here. Hey, everybody, it's me, Bobo the Clown. Make me a balloon, animal, funny man! Oh, I left my balloons at home, but hey, check this out. My nose squeaks. You're a bum! Tyler, behave yourself. No, no, he's right. I'm a bum. I killed 50 people this morning. <laughs> no, not on purpose. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I'm taking his Legos. Damn it, where is Guy? He's late! Sorry, sir, I had to come from my clown job. Well, you have bigger problems than that! You remember those 50 people that died in that fire? Yeah, don't remind me. I know it's my fault. Well, actually, it's not! It turns out all 50 of those people were shot in the head before the murderer burned the building down! Wait, so you're telling me they died from getting shot? They didn't die in the fire? So, it doesn't matter that I watched the Heat game and ate chips and queso and played paper basketball. Oh, thank God! I'm so happy now! But we still have to catch that murderer! We set up a sting operation at a gas station, and he should be there at 6 o'clock! So you need to get your ass down there and catch him! But, sir, the Heat game starts at 6 o'clock. Guy! Get down there and stop that murderer! Don't screw this up! Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, go Heat! Orlando Magic! More like the Orlando Suckets, because I suck at basketball! <laughs> That's what they should change their name to. Boiny, didn't you say you had something to do tonight? Yeah, watch the Heat! <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, I am so fired. Time. Ew! We have a burn victim from a three-story apartment fire! Well, let me guess, he was on the third story? Yes, he completely got on fire, jumped out the window, and look, he landed on his fingers! Yeah, you never want to land fingers first. That's how you break your fingers. I was trying to catch myself. Yeah, I can see that. So, buddy, how much pain are you in? A lot. Hmm, well, that's not helpful. Nurse, get the Wong Baker pain scale. All right, I got it. Now, sir, which of these faces represents your pain? Ugh, the crying one. Well, I don't see you crying, so you're lying. Sir, his tear ducts burnt off in the fire. Oh, okay. Well, I think we should probably do a skin graft. Oh, I already got one. What? No, nurse, not a skin pie chart, a skin graft. Oh, okay. N no, not a skin bar graft, a skin graft. Um, let me look. Ugh. No, not a skin graft, a skin graft. What? Well, it's where you take new skin and you graft it onto his body. Ew! Look, just go into the skin drawer and get some new skin. All right, uh, sir, what color would you like? Uh, white. Ugh, everybody always picks white. Even Michael Jackson picked white. I'll go look. Uh, what's wrong with your head? What, my head? Yeah, you're bald. Well, I am losing a little bit of hair. No, on the back, it's really bad. Well, I do have a bald spot, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, bald! Well, you're bald too! Yeah, but I had hair before the fire. I'd rather look like this than look like you, baldy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, all we have is black. Ugh. Mervyn, let's watch a movie. Well, what movie do you want to watch? I don't know. Well, you're the one who wants to watch a movie. You got to pick. Hey, Daddy. What do you want, Jeffy? Ha, I got your mustache. Well, Jeffy, give me my mustache back. No, ha, sure. Give it back, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, here you go. <laughs> Mervyn, it looks like you have a unibrow. All right, everyone, <laughs> shut up. Ugh, there's someone at the door. Let me fix my mustache and answer it. Hello? Hold on. Let me just finish up this text. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Somebody made fun of me and hurt my feelings. <laughs> well, like you were just texting, so it just seems like you're, <laughs> I'm so sad. Seems like you're crying for attention. No, I'm crying because my feelings got hurt. Well, come on and explain it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aww. 
Aw, why is he crying? Someone hurt his feelings. His name was Curtis. Curtis hurt his feelings. Well, his name was Curtis Furtis. Curtis Furtis hurt his feelings. Well, that wasn't very nice of Curtis Furtis. What did Curtis Furtis say to you? Well, Curtis Furtis was a burn victim, and he came into the ER, and he made fun of me for being bald. You're not bald. I'm a little bald. <gasps> <gasps> Okay, you're really not that bald. Well, there's all kinds of mean things I could have said to the burn victim, like, you look like Anakin Skywalker after he lost his fight, or you look like Deadpool without his mask on, or you look like Paul Walker after the car accident. But I didn't say those things. I was the bigger man, and I ran away crying. Well, I think you should just not deal with that patient anymore. Well, I just came here to ask you how you live with being ugly and bald. I'm not bald. Uh, you're kind of bald. I have hair on the sides of my head. Marvin, if you stood outside in direct sunlight, you could blind someone. But I am not bald. I have hair. Marvin, sometimes at night I pretend you're Dr. Phil so I can get off. I get that. What? Dr. Phil is a very fine man. When he said, it doesn't matter how much you flatten a pancake, it still has two sides, that made me want to have sex with him. I do not look like Dr. Phil. I know, because if you did, I'd want to have sex with you. All right, let's get back on track. You are not that bald. I know, I just wish I looked as good as I did in high school. I had so much hair, I was so hot. Oh, the things I'd do to my high school self. I, I mean, I wouldn't do anything with my high school self, because he's in high school and that would be illegal and chronologically impossible. But if I was back in high school with me when I was in high school, I would probably still bang my sex ed teacher, Miss Thickums. She was in the last video. You should check that out. And the new gaming channel, we're doing that now. Anyway, I want hair. Well, why don't you just do a hair transplant? Well, I, I would have to do it myself because I'm the only doctor in town, so I'd have to do it like I did my own vasectomy. And let me tell you, it is a bit of a mess down there. Whenever I pee, my balls fill up like water balloons. That's not normal. No, it's not. I really got to get back in there and figure that out. Well, why don't you just go to a makeover person and get a makeover? Oh, I don't know any makeoverologists, do you? Well, Chef Pee, -Pee has a gay cousin. Ooh, did you say gay and cousin? and Chef Pee-Pee, and has? Yeah, I can go ask Chef Pee-Pee if his cousin will give you a makeover. Okay, do it! All right. Ooh, whoop it up the grease! Whoop it up the grease! Whoop it up the grease! Hey, Chef Pee-Pee. Oh, what's up, Marvin? You want some instant grits? I made them from scratch. No, I don't really want grits, and I don't think that's how you make them. I know how to make grits. I'm making them from scratch. This is exactly how you make it in a pan. Look, I feel like a southern black lady in the kitchen. Go on, get you some grits. Go get you that bowl over there and get some grits. I know you look as skinny as hell. No, I, I don't want any grits. Listen, don't you have a gay cousin who's like a hairstylist? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Gay Tony. <sighs> gay Tony? Yeah, that's his name. He's gay and his name is Tony. <laughs> he told us to call him that. Well, can you call him over? Because I have a friend that wants a complete makeover. Oh, yeah. He would love to give your friend a makeover. Shit, I need a makeover myself. I'm legit looking dingy as hell. Look at my outfit. Goddamn. Well, why don't you just call Gay Tony over because we really need him. <sighs> yeah, I'll call him over, but I'm going to warn you. Stay five steps away from him. He likes to kiss all over you. All right, hold still. All right, Chef Pee called his cousin and he's on his way over. Look, Marvin, I'm fixing it. Is she Marvin or is she lying? Uh, it doesn't look good at all. No, oh, you bitch. Oh, why I ought to. Okay, hold on. Listen, the hairstylist is on his way. Makeoverologist? Yeah, that. That must be him. You just stay right here. Hello. Oh, my God. You must be Marvin. You must be gay Tony. Oh, what gave it away? My appetite for penis. Uh, excuse me, my bad. <laughs> Had a cough in my throat. <laughs> You little silly goose, man. You look so handsome. Cute. Oh, give me a kiss. We just met. Wait, I don't want to give you a kiss. Listen, I need you here for a makeover for my friend. Oh, I can't wait to do that makeover. I love doing makeovers. Oh, I wish you were the makeover, though. I'm not. I'm not. But he's upstairs. Come on. Oh, oh my God. I can't wait. Gay Tony's here. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to meet all of you. Oh, I love your necklace. Oh, my God. Thanks. Slay queen. You're awesome. Yeah. Girl, let me tell you about today. The hottest guy walked into my salon. I'm talking about a dream boat, a real man. And he needed to use the bathroom. And I'm like, sir, the bathroom is open for business. Piss on my face already. <laughs> he just kissed me. I love that for you. I love it for me too. Now where is that makeover? He's right there. Oh my God, is that Dr. House? Oh my God, he's a real doctor, right? I am a doctor, a, a doctor yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Mr. Moneybag. I can't wait till after this makeover. I might have to do him. Mm. No, thank you. I'm good. My hair's just a little patchy. Ooh, I love me a redhead. It's something fiery about them. Oh, likes a fire under my bottom. Like my herpes. Oh, I just recently had an outbreak. He kissed me on my mouth. Yee! Oh, kisses for everybody. No, 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 I'm no, good. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, what do we need for this, uh... Let's do over. Uh, so he, he needs his hair fixed, his eyes fixed. Do, do you know what I need? I need a gay montage to think this over. Come on, let's get it started! A gay montage?
do? I'm so tall. Look at my legs, Marvin. Oh, my nuts. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god, you have a little boo-boo. Let me kiss it. Let me kiss no, it. No, 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 it's okay. Oh, fine. Thanks for the legs, man. Yeah, no problem. I gave you two new legs, and uh, I can't wait to see the third one. <laughs> yeah, I do wish you would have helped me out more in that department, and I still have to fix the vasectomy situation. But hey, look at my mustache, Marvin. It's so fuzzy like a caterpillar. And look at my hair. Go ahead and touch it. I know you want to. It feels like a giraffe. Okay, well, you don't know your animals, but thank you. Yep, no patches! Marvin, he's so hot! What? You think he's hot? Yeah, look how tall he is! Yeah, look how tall I am, Marvin. Hey, how's the ground down there? That's what tall people say. We're both standing on the same ground. Yeah, but I'm further away from it, so I don't know what my next step's gonna be like, so I need you tiny people to tell me. We're standing on my couch. Yeah, that's kind of weird, now that you mention it. I mean, how big is this couch? I mean, if this were to scale, this couch would be fucking massive. Really, your whole house would be. How high are your ceilings? That's weird. Anyway, back to puppet land. Can you make me as hot as him? No, I'm busy. Oh, I got a grinder appointment with Enrique, my spicy little chorizo. But, uh, how are you gonna pay me? <laughs> with money? Oh, fine. Venmo me then. He, he didn't give me his Venmo. That's okay. I'm sure he'll remember. Anyway, I'm off to the strip club. Wait, you, you finally look really good and you're going to the strip club? Well, yeah. When you look this good, you don't have to pay to impress women. Well, then why would you go to a strip club? Those women only want money. Well, they're gonna want me because I'm so handsome. But like, I don't understand why you'd go Just to Just let me hop away! Why are you hopping? I haven't had legs in years. I want to hop. Short tip. Move aside, big spender. I'm tall and handsome. Oh my god, yes you are. What's your name, miss? My name's Stardust. Nice to meet you, Stardust. You are very attractive. I would like to have intercourse with you. For free. Oh my god, babe, with legs like those, you can have me. I have legs too. Yeah, but you're short. I am same height. And he has a full head of hair. Yeah, the hair, the hair, yes, that's right, I have hair. So come on, Stardust, let's blow this Popsicle stand. Oh my god, is your name Popsicle stand? Oh, I like where this is headed. Let's go back to my house. Honey, I'm home. Oh, Bunny, I missed you. Oh my god, Boyney, did you get a new suit? Well, yeah, I did, but what else do you notice? Did you get a tan? Well, maybe a little bit, but that's not the main attraction. Oh, who's your friend? She's a stripper. Oh, where'd you meet her? At the strip club. Boyney, I thought you were at work as a doctor. I was, and then something happened. What? I got legs, Karen. Oh my god, Boyney, where'd you get those? A gay man gave them to me, and now I'm going to leave you for her. What? Boyney? Because I'm hot and she's hot and that's the way the world works. But Boyney, I love you! Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. I don't want to be with you anymore. <laughs> <sighs> get naked, please. That stupid man steal my stripper before I get to see tit? <laughs> hey there. Do you see a man with orange mustache inside? He's on the couch with the stripper! <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pow right in the kisser. Oh man, that was great. I didn't have to take my suit off. Anyway, you can leave. The post-nut clarity's starting to kick in. Yeah, you see tit before me? Hey, I did more than see tit. I motorboated. I kill you! What? No! No, what are you doing? What are you doing to my legs? No! Don't cut my legs off! He's cutting my legs off! You can't see it, but he's cutting them off and it hurts so bad! All right, sir, here are your discharge papers. Thank you. You sure you don't want that skin graft? Uh, no. My legs! Doctor, what happened? Some psychopath cut off my legs! But, doctor, these are prosthetics. I know, but they look so nice. Well, you still look nice. <laughs> well, sir, sir, stop it! What are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I just, I'm hot now, I don't know the rules, I feel like I can do whatever I want, I'm sorry, okay? Just uh, please don't report me to HR. Actually, the HR lady is kind of hot. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do that. Well... No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't report me. My legs! Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day, just like this Roblox one you see on your screen right now. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. Push, push, click the, click the forward arrow again, I guess. I promise you, I'm pressing it. I'm clicking the hell out of it. I fell. We're having a good time. <laughs> oh my oh, god! God damn, what the hell? Oh, what, what the fuck is what? happening, Joseph? Oh, we're gonna be headed. Oh my god, it's Joseph! That doesn't make Help. sense. Help!